What's going on everybody as always welcome back to another video today I want to talk to you about the number one killer of all businesses This is really the number one killer of all goals of all dreams for sales professionals for entrepreneurs But it's especially the number one killer of all businesses And this is a lesson that I've learned over the last few years being in business being in the, in the investing world as well And just having exposure to that space and learning a lot more from business as Warren Buffett says I'm a better investor because I'm a businessman and I'm a better businessman because I'm an investor so it's a very hand-in-hand -hand relationship between the investing world and between the business world and this is a lesson that I've taken from all of that over the last few years and I've realized that by far when you look at entrepreneurs when you look at sales professionals when you look at businesses at scale the number one killer is one thing and I want to share that one thing with you here just before we get into that one thing of course smash that like button comment your thoughts below or any questions that you might have on this topic feel free to put that below as well and of course subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for videos every monday wednesday and friday and on that note let's get right into it so i just like to preface this by saying i come from the sales world i come from the entrepreneurship and the business world i've worked in seven plus different industries myself directly nowadays i'm exposed to any and every industry there is as I work with different entrepreneurs and clients worldwide. And one thing that I see is common anywhere in any industry, in any country, and it's constantly the killer of all businesses. It's constantly the killer of goals. It's the killer of hitting your revenue targets. It's the killer of getting to where you want to get to. And that one thing is complacency. Complacency by definition is a feeling of accomplishment and really reveling in your achievements and just being happy and comfortable with where you are and really taking pride in what you've done, what you've accomplished, but in a comfortable sense, in the sense that you're not looking to move further. You're not looking to get out of your comfort zone. You're complacent and comfortable and happy and content with where you are. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, that definition sounds pretty good. I'd like to be there. What's wrong with that? Well, that definition is good for day-to-day -day life. You should be happy. You should be comfortable in the general sense, and you should be fulfilled with your own achievements, your own accomplishments, and you should take pride in those and celebrate those. Of course, all that is good and well, but when it comes to business, if you want to succeed in business in a fast paced world like today's world, and if you want to keep up, not only just do well and keep you know, your shop open or your business open. But if you want to continue to grow, if you want to actually beat your competition, if you want to dominate, if you want to do well in business, and if you don't want to get left behind, you cannot afford to get complacent. And I think that right there is actually the root of the problem. Most people look at being complacent almost as a positive thing, almost as something that you would want in your day-to-day -day life. Now, whether that be true or not, the point is, what works in your day-to-day -day life doesn't necessarily work in business. And the business world requires something completely different out of you. And that is competition. It requires you to be competitive. It requires you to compete with everybody else in the marketplace. It requires you to compete with yourself, with your own products and services and continue to get better and better and sharpening things up and tweaking things and constantly making those adjustments and those tweaks in order to provide a better service, provide a better product, you know, be that reliable company, whatever it might be. You have to consistently be competing and not being complacent in order to continue moving forward in business, in order to win in business. And that's just what it takes. That's just the reality of it. There's no two ways around it. Complacency is by far the number one killer of all businesses from what I've seen over the last three, five, seven, ten 10 years being in sales, being in business. And it's something that I see to this day. Entrepreneurs or sales professionals get complacent. And before they know it, their spot is taken. Before they know it, they're losing clients, they're losing customers. And before they know it, they're out of that market, out of that business and out of a job or whatever else it might be. So now that you know the number one killer of all businesses is complacency, you might be thinking, well, how do I get competitive or what's an advantage I can have or how do I not get complacent in my business or in my sales career? Well, let me give you one tip and this will be just a bonus in this video and I'm going to wrap it up after that and that is you want to look at where you have natural competitive advantages, whether you as an individual, if you're in sales or as an entrepreneur or as a startup, you want to look at yourself, look at your natural inclinations where you have a natural competitive advantage. Or if you're in a larger business or you want to get into an industry, you want to look at where your business, your product or your service can have a natural competitive advantage. And what you want to do is you want to double down on those natural inclinations, those natural competitive advantages. And although you always want to 
maintain long-term relationships. You always want to do things ethically. You always want to do things with integrity and the right way. You, of course, should be taking every single competitive advantage that you can because that's just what it is. That's the business world. As Mark Cuban and many others have said, business is the ultimate sport. It's 24-7, 365. It never ends. And you better believe somebody's out there day and night working to beat you, working to put you out of business, to put your product or your service out of business. If that's too harsh for you, then the entrepreneurship space or business or sales really isn't for you. If that's harsh to hear a simple reality of the world and of society and of business, if that's too much for you to digest, then this space is not for you. And it's better to know that sooner than later. So I just want to be completely transparent with you. But if that's understandable to you, that's reasonable to you, then the next action step would be to figure out where your natural competitive advantages are and to double down on those in your sales career and in your business. So there you have it. That's the number one killer of all businesses, which is complacency. I hope as always, you got a ton of value out of that. I hope that really resonated with you with where you are in your sales career and your life and your business today. I hope that was something that is tangible that you can take and apply directly and start to see results with it. Start to see how that mindset shifts shift of not being complacent and starting to get more competitive is going to serve you over the long run. And like anything else, you want to be aggressive in the day to day, but you also want to be patient with the long term. So be patient with the results, be patient with the outcome and continue to do what you do best day in and day out. And the results will follow. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to smash that like button, comment your thoughts below, subscribe to the channel. And on that note, I'll see you in the next video.